This video will demonstrate the installation steps of the Solis off-grid energy storage inverter. Attention! Electrical equipment can only be installed and maintained by qualified electrical technicians. Please read the user manual before installation and check whether the accessories in the box are complete. The inverter is heavy. Please pay attention to personnel safety during handling and installation. Please install the inverter in a safe location that meets the requirements for easy ventilation and heat dissipation, and avoid direct sunlight. When the inverter is running, there may be risks of high temperature and high voltage. Please install the inverter in a location that is not easily accessible. The inverter is IP21 rated and needs to be mounted indoors. Avoid direct exposure to sun and rain. At least 400 mm of space should be reserved on both sides of the inverter. Top and bottom side vents reserve 500 mm of space. The inverter needs to be secured to a sturdy wall or bracket. Three holes in the mounting position. The other is located behind the inverter. You can open the cover in advance to determine the position of the holes. After determining the mounting location, mark the three mounting holes on the wall. Use a 10mm impact drill to punch holes at the marked locations. Secure the inverter to the wall using the expansion screws provided in the package. Inverter installation completed. Recommended cable sizes are shown. Connect the ground wires crimped with OT terminal to the ground point on the side of inverter. When the solar module is exposed to the sun, high voltage will appear on the DC wire. Do not touch the DC wire. Before connecting the inverter, Please ensure that the open circuit voltage of the photovoltaic string does not exceed the limit of the inverter. The solar modules connected to the same MPPT must have the same specification, the same orientation, and the same inclination. Crimp the attached sleeve to the qualified cable first. The PV cables should be routed through the holes labeled PV1 and PV2 on the bottom of the inverter. Connect the PV cable to the PV terminals as labeled inside the enclosure. Thread the AC cable through the corresponding threading hole on the bottom of the inverter and connect it to the corresponding terminal according to the label on the enclosure. This product is compatible with the battery modules shown in the table. This installation uses a Pylonus 3000 lithium battery. For battery installation, please refer to the battery manufacturer's instructions to install the battery. Pass one end of the battery power cable ring terminal through the BAT plus and BAT minus threading holes. Connect to the corresponding terminals and tighten with a torque of 2.0 to 3 nanometers. Connect the other side of the battery power cables to the battery. Ensure that communication between multiple batteries has been completed. Connect one end of the BMS communication cable to the THAW port on the battery. Connect the other end to the BMS port on the bottom of the inverter. If you choose a Solis data logger, please connect it to the CALM port at the bottom of the inverter. Data logging can be done via the RS485 interface on the bottom of the inverter if the optional Solis data logger has not been installed. Pass one end of the cable through the GEN on the bottom of the inverter. Access to GEN L. 
N, corresponding ports. The other end is connected to the generator. Connect one end of the generator's communication cable to the inverter's G dry, output dry contact, GFB, input dry contact, to control the generator's start or stop. The other end is connected to the corresponding port of the generator. Finish wiring the generator to the generator port. Please visually check first to make sure all cables are connected properly. You can pull the cable lightly to confirm that the cable connection is tight. If the input voltage is greater than the startup voltage of the inverter, the inverter will start up. Setting up your inverter via the Solis Cloud app. Please refer to S6-EO1P, 4-5, K48 app operation demo video for specific operation. The inverter will start normal operation.